Hey guys, it's Clara from Online Fabric Store. Reusable shopping bags are the green way to go. This washable tote bag is perfect for groceries, shopping, or just about anything really. The ones you buy from the grocery store tend to be pretty ugly and not very durable. By making your own, you can choose the fabric and they're stronger than store-bought bags. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are one yard of lining fabric, one yard of an outer fabric, a stabilizer, which is optional, a fabric marker, a ruler, thread, pins, scissors, and an iron. Pre-wash your fabric if you plan on washing your tote bag in the future. Measure and cut two pieces of the outer fabric that are 21 inches wide and 20 inches long. When this bag is done, it will be 15 inches tall, 13 inches wide, and 7 inches deep. You can make it larger or smaller if you want. I'm using medium weight home decor fabrics. Canvas is another good option for the outer fabric. Cut two pieces of the lining that are also 21 by 20 inches. You can use medium weight or lightweight fabrics for the lining, like quilting cotton or broadcloth. This other bag is made with canvas, a printed quilting cotton, and cotton webbing. This one is 12 by 10 by 6 inches. To make this size, cut 17 inch squares. For the handles, you can use either the outer fabric or webbing. If you're using the fabric, cut two pieces that are 5 by 22 inches. If you're using the webbing, cut two 22 inch pieces. Cut a piece of stabilizer that's 7 by 13 inches. Line up the two outer pieces with right sides facing and pin the bottom. Sew across the bottom with a half inch seam allowance. Press the seam open. Mark the center of the stabilizer on the short ends. Line it up on the bottom seam so it's centered. There should be four inches on each side. Iron to fuse the stabilizer. Keep the iron on one section for 10 seconds. Lift the iron and hold it on the next section until the entire piece is fused. Flip the fabric over and repeat on the other side. The stabilizer is optional, but it gives the bag a flat bottom that's durable and easy to load up with groceries or anything else. Fold in the ends one inch and iron. Fold the fabric in half with right sides facing and pin. Sew along the sides with a half inch seam allowance. Press the seams open. Fold the corner so the bottom seam and the side seam line up. Measure three and a half inches from the corner, not including the seam allowance. This should be at the edge of the stabilizer. You can either sew just outside or on the edge of the stabilizer to make it extra secure. Cut off the corner half an inch from the stitches. Repeat for the other corner. Turn the bag right side out with the edges folded in one inch. Align the two lining pieces and pin. Sew down the side, across the bottom, and up the other side. Press the seams open. Fold in the ends one inch and iron. Box the corners like before, but without the stabilizer. Measure three and a half inches from the corner and draw a line at a 45 degree angle. If you have a ruler like this, it's easy to double check the angle. Pin in place. Sew on the lines and cut half an inch from the seams.
If you're using fabric for the handles, fold the fabric in half lengthwise and iron. Fold each edge to the center crease and press. Fold in half and iron again. Sew down both sides an eighth of an inch from the edge. Repeat for the other handle. Lay the lining flat with the top folded down one inch. Mark a line six inches in from the sides. Place the fabric handle or webbing on the insides of the marks. Match up the ends with the raw edge of the fabric and pin. Sew a square with an X through it on the ends of the handles. This will make the handles extra strong without being able to see the stitches on the outside. Repeat for the other handle on the other side of the lining. Place the lining inside the outer fabric. Make sure the edges are still folded down. Match up the top edges and seams and pin all the way around. Sew around the top a quarter of an inch from the edge. Sew around again an eighth of an inch from the edge. Now you're ready to shop with your reusable tote bag. If you want to be able to machine wash your bags, cotton is a good choice. I've also made one with outdoor fabric and an oil cloth lining. These materials shouldn't be machine washed but they're stain resistant and the oil cloth easily wipes clean. Thanks for watching this OFS project.